Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I almost keep wanting to say Outer Wilds, but that is not. Oh, Earth Director catalogs habitable stellar systems. It's all exploitation. It's all, it's all exploitation rights. That's hilarious. Oh, it improves your accuracy too. Nice. It makes it harder to watch toss ball matches, however. Oh, dang. N-ray attacks cause internal damage to a target, which then radiates more N-rays to the surrounding targets. That was... Is that... I think somebody said that that's actually real. I mean, in a comment that I'm so far behind on, honestly. Like, I'm so far behind on comments, it's unreal, and I apologize. At some point, I'll sit down for a day and get it figured out. Go, to go respond to everybody, because that's what I do. Uh, let's go to the map. Let's, let's just go. Come on. I don't know about that third one, though. Is something going to pop up? Maybe there's one. Maybe there's one in the geothermal plant. I'm gonna have to go there anyway, I think, for two other quests and then not divert power yet in order to get the XP for them and, like, go return them to their daily wops. I haven't done the ones about getting... Like, I've got the one finger that I could get a reward for, but there's, like, a couple others that I'm just... I'm kind of like, eh, like I don't really care. <laughs> but I will potentially... Is it like... Oh my gosh, is it... Oh, okay, I was like, is it in his office? It's not. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna... Just gonna come on in here. Oh, there's a door here. How convenient, another office. Infection have not reached a critical mass. I instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Medical treatments are privileged. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. No. This town. I think I'm gonna hurt people with my decision. Um. Obviously. Easy. Oh. Sorry. Were you gonna get mad at me? Yeah, huh? I just wasted those. Dang it. She like, I think she turned red for a second. Yeah, I think that was her. Man. Wasted. Wasted some lockpicks. But now... Right, when he was working shifts at the cannery. I mean, I found one here in the cannery, but I was wondering if maybe there was a copy in her house? But I don't think... Unless there's one in the workshop. Fail generals. Oh, there's a work, yeah, there's a workshop there. Um, plasma cutter in there. Steel kick me sign. Cannery worker. I mean, her dad's been, unless, oh, was that her dad's office maybe? I don't know why it would still be empty. I don't think he was an office type either. Cannery worker. I mean, I've already looked at these. Where's the workshop? 
up over here. And I've been back here. Is that? That looks like a pie. Maybe it's a mushroom. Can I, like, jump on things? And then, like, attach myself? Nope. This has the heads as freaking step. Where's, is this a way out? Oh my god. Not a door. Not a door. Uh, Emerald Veil. What is, what is this? Emerald Veil. Of Terra 2. Can't pull on that. Oops. Ah! That's not what I meant to do. Got it. Inside voices. Inside voices. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm stuck. I might actually be stuck. Why can't I get into this building? I'm gonna look it up. D just you. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. Just you wait. I have no time for shenanigans. Workshop was over here. I think. Or no, that was it. Was it just a. It was just a random house. This is where the magic happens. Oh. Well, science. But it still happens here. This is my first time being in here with her. Okay, so we had some problems again with glitching out. I don't know why, but hopefully it was uh, not too much. But yeah, so we have this ticket, um, and it looks like, so she's made notes. She's called it Clancy, this machine. She needs to turn on the engine, try it again, try it again, kick the loader, curse injured toes. I have to enter a minimum of eight steps, try it again. It makes a rattling noise. It makes a rattling noise, yeah. Um... She has to wait until it's quiet to spin it up for a listen. I don't know if we can actually fix any of these, but that'd be kind of cool. These are all filed by Thompson, it looks like. Failure of main cannery production line at heat processing. Oh, steps to reproduce the problem. Start up production line according to this thing. Observe processing of canning. Follow first batch to heat processing. Stitch. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Likely is not. Best got indigestion from being made to eat something she ain't made to. Again, heading over now. Yep. By Miller. This issue has been open for zero days. Darn, ah, mechanicals. Look northwise. I said look northwise. <laughs> See it? It's right there. No notes on this ticket yet. So he, he he's like putting in, he put in like a ticket for whatever his shenanigans, his crazy shenanigans are. Um. Whoop. Hey, that's I mean if you need it okay uh it uh, it didn't say steal I think it just said I could take it um, is it, any ideas something you need never mind I've already picked one up at the cannery all right I'm gonna look it up Unless there's two at the cannery. I knew it! The other- Ah, uh, it's at the geothermal power plant. That was- I, I actually forgot that I had thought that. I was like, oh yeah, it might be at the geothermal plant. Because that's the only other place you would take engineering stuff, potentially. And then I totally forgot I'm that I had uh, thought that. Day. So, yay. 
I'm a genius. I just forget. So, Zoe, that thing. So that needs to, I need to go there. I need to go there for that. I guess while I'm here, I could submit one of the fingers I got. I just don't know. Oh, there she is. That's like a sheriffy symbol, maybe? I don't know. Constable. I've never actually been in here. Seemed scary from the outside. It is. Something to report? I got a bounty. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Birdie Cottons. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Hmm. Got any more fingers for me? Oh, hey, there's a new version of Outer Worlds. I saw, I saw that it was, I saw, I read the update a while back, and then, um... Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. It's like some bugs... And, uh, some bug fixes. I can't remember what else. Nothing huge, it seemed. Oh, let's pick. Yeah, we'll do that because it'll take us outside. How do I get outside? Didn't I just... Am I, like, missing the prompt I think you gotta get closer to things in this game than I expect Skyrim you can see things from like you know two meters away you could like pick it up from like two meters away but this one they're like get your face right into it and I'm like eh. I'm like there's a reason they want that in Skyrim it's easier to stand back because like you have a better like a peripheral like you don't have any peripheral when your face is right up in the thing you're trying to look for you know And it just feels weird. It feels like you're shoving your face in everything. Although to be fair, in Skyrim, I felt like I was shoving my shoving my face into everything anyway, because that was just the way you did things. Let's go. Yeah, we'll just mosey on over. Come on. Oh my gosh. That's annoying. The dissident hunter, when indentured servants are freed, anarchy soon follows. Eh. Okay. I wonder if these are actual rebels. That are, like, fighting against the corporate greed or whatever. When indentured servants are freed, corporates get pissed and kill them all. That's what it is. Did I? I don't think I actually got into there. I should try to do that. I probably don't have any... Oh, alright. Here we go. Toss ball car Matthew Singh. That's very, very broken, very broken. Uh, those are readable. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, maybe I can give her the better pistol. Oh yeah, hacky hack. Uh, do view recent logs. The security fences aren't a big deal. Um, security logs inaccessible in keeping with spacer's choice policy. All security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, a catastrophic event, or a security breach. Oh, geez, that's hilarious. Scheduled security updates on the Space Your Choice facility are critically overdue. Your last scheduled security update occurred on blank. If you are a member of the Space Your Choice security team outside of this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. Yes. I mean, why not? And now I can get in and out two different... Although it might actually kind of unlock an area behind over there. Where the other security fence was. I don't know... What that is. This is a whole... Oh, there's like a... 
can I not? Okay. There's... Although, to be fair, I think I could just get around. Yeah, I could just get around. Get Whoa! Whoa! Oh, jeez. Get off. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. It scared me. Oh, this might be the... that Back there, that might be the Marauder thing, because it's to the east. Alright, we're here, so we're gonna do this first. Part of me thinks I should keep the... the security fields up, though. Because otherwise, people might come in here. And I'll come out and there'll be like a bunch of marauders out there and I'll be like, dang. Although, to be fair, there was just a giant hole in the fence, so it didn't, the security fields didn't really matter. Anybody could get in. But may, it, if, if they thought they couldn't get in, they maybe didn't even try. You know what I mean? But it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. This is one of those things where it's like, how many of my choices matter? You know what I mean? Oh man, I feel like something happened. So obviously it's a catastrophic failure. The systems are designed to, uh, you know, it's just a, like just corporate a-holes trying to cover their butts. You know, obviously. Oop. Um. Did I get what kind of pistol? I swear I got like a smaller pistol. Or like a better pistol? Oh, there it is. Handgun. Handgun. So, drop it. I don't know how to make her drop it. Um. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Value to weight ratio sorting. Dang. Okay, I just clicked it on the thing. Okay. So that should be better for her. Yeah, yep, yep. I just wasn't sure how it would know which one to do. Robots. Here we go. No messes. Oh, nice. Energy canister, handy. Before I forget, let's climb this. I'm sure there's handy things up here. What did I, what did I, oh. A spade? Nice. Okay, maybe we can figure out what happened here. Manager's office, unlock office door. Messages. Spacers, from Spacer's Choice. 
get it together. Miss Braden, this letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure towards your management of the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget and your latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Fair to you. Yeah, yeah, what was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are working, that working for Spacer's Choice is a, not a right, but a privilege. From Braden. To the esteemed members of the blah blah blah, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. <laughs> not healthy, but wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who were unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agricultural, fishing, canning departments, neither which is anywhere close to profitable, the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-efficient power to the entire regions. So did she, like, kill them? Oh, oh my god, I think she killed them. No need for a reprimand. We have investigated these claims made against the profitability of the greater Emerville region. Our offices agree with you. Agricultural, fish, and canning have experienced steady decline, while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, and more efficient geothermal power plant. Please be informed that Space's Choice Development and Oversight Office has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The office would like to ensure that you that the assure you that this insurance policy is a standard procedure. Oh, no. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. As a special courtesy, we've deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. Oh, my gosh. They freaking, they made it so that the, the power plant runs automatically, so they don't need to hire people, and they killed everybody. Oh my gosh! And so they killed everybody. Oh my gosh, these people are monsters. Um, uh, sure. Do I, uh, I don't know. Although I think that. Here we go! I think uh, that this was the one I unlocked via the terminal, so. Nice. Apparently. It's all stuff I pick up anyway, but it's fine. Where did, I, where did the machine drop? Um, we need to keep our eyeballs out. I reload. What's this? Oh, can I? Oh, I just phased right. Right. Oh, it's a hologram. Oh, dang. Oh, da and there's also a door. Nice. Uh, receptionist terminal memory. Purging complete. Two files available. There's purges. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio has been sputtering. I needed the reference. I returned your copy to the repair bay. Nice. Chaos everywhere. Mechanical has gone haywire. Gunfire. Hearing some screams. Oh, law. I think that was someone's leg. I would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct delinquency fee from my pay. Thank you. Proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice family. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. These people, like, even in the face, but I, I mean, if you've been, oh my gosh, that's disgust. somebody, <gasps> oh my gosh, somebody's head got obliterated, that's disgusting. Uh... Is this, um... oh dang, this looks ominous. I mean, if you've been brainwashed your whole life, you know, you're, uh, you're not gonna suspect a company, you know? Hang on, no, no, I don't want to do that yet. This looks like, um, that looks like what I'm supposed to do. And I gotta explore the whole facility. Oh, that's where we were. Can we not keep the doors open? I would appreciate it if we kept the doors open. So I know where I've been. Nope, don't want to go out.
cut. Yeah, I already. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, we've made a circle. Uh, optional geothermal security chief's key card. Geothermal security chief, where you at? Stimulation. Okay, then. All right, then. Nope. I'm too low level to be picking this stuff. Unlock the door. Oh. I don't know what the password is. Personal files. Tanaka. Oh! Chief Security. Chester Higgins again. That whole head found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals had to write him for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now, I'm feeling bad for what I've done. Let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the head. He was working on some logic module, module I confiscated. It should be in my lockaway room for this foreseeable future. These didn't get purged. That's interesting. Uh, doesn't sit right with me. Companies are replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up chief of security with no staff. There's a small army of mechanicals knocking about, guns pointing every which way. Company tells us they're safe, programmed us to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an auto mechanical never will. I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me, but the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Ha ha ha. Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. I locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. Okie dokie, then. Automated message. Greetings, Security Chief Tanaka. This is an automated message initiated by Special Choice Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. It's not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G brew. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So, my... Journal... Mentioned that the logic unit has been stored... You'll need to find the key card of the room unless you can pick your way in. They turned hostile and they attacked him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made his way down to the control room. Um, which I don't know where the. Oh, yeah. Okay. Logic module's in there. Oh, that's a glass wall. Any of you have anything? Worker outfit. That's a. Oh, I just don't have enough. Reconditioned exo helmet. Okay. <gasps> In we go. Sealed. I said unlock it. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh. How did I know that I, I have mo mm. Okay, I don't know. I can't tell if I'm overburdened. I think I, I am overburdened. <laughs> I was like, something is weird right now. Let's drop this. I do not need this. Or I guess break down. Let's uh, break that down. How are we? We're at 110. Um, break down another pistol. We're getting, it's getting picky on what constitutes a fence line and what doesn't. That's the last of them. I was about to say, oh, it's so nice that I can, um, bring in, do that whole shooting through a fence without the game freaking out, but apparently not. Oh, did somebody try to hide? Oh, dang. Oh, man. Or did you just die from, like, starvation? 
Dang. That's rough. Oh my gosh. That must have been so terrifying. Like a lot of the, there's like this like, this is a very like tongue in cheek, humorous, like, oh, look how bad corporations are type thing. But like, even still, like, you think about how terrible it actually is and you're just like, wow, okay, like this was a person, like this was a person who like died because the corporation decided it would be cheaper for whatever, I can't, because they were make, they were the only one that was kind of making a profit. And it's something to do with insurance, right? Like, I don't, I don't know exact anything about insurance stuff by any means, but like, um, huh. oops. Like, they're putting, they put the, uh, the insurance policy on so that, you know, when it, when the facility was destroyed, they'd get the money back on it. But I'm not sure why it would be the one that was like, set. maybe it's because it would look less suspicious if it was the one that was semi-profitable that they destroyed. I don't know. It's just gnarly. But anyway, I should probably call this one here. But thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.